One of the things that you'll notice uh, is that I'm not a police officer, so I don't go to the police academy. I don't have a gun or anything like that. A lot of people ask us, are we afraid, you know, are the bad guys there and, you know, that kind of thing. I tell them, no, we always have officers with us. Obviously, they're armed and they're trained in defensive tactics, so that's not an issue. A lot of what we do is a lot more, obviously, scientific based. So um, that's a big background of what we do working with chemicals and things like that. So it's a lot more of the, the science aspect of it compared to the chasing bad guys, jumping fences part of it. When I talk to my kids or other children, we go out and do teach-ins, they always ask us, well, what do you do? Because you're not a normal cop. And I basically explain to them that it's my job to go out and take pictures. So when it does go to court, the jury and the judge understand what's going on. But it also helps the detectives. They're not always available to come to our scenes. So when we explain to them what the location looked like, where was the evidence and things like that, they can associate where everything is in relationship. But it's also with our job, a lot of times we're the ones that get the first lead. We may get the fingerprint that leads to the bad guy. And then it's their job to obviously go find them and interview them um, and then build a case against them. So I'd say that's the two biggest things for us is the photography for later trying to put the case together. And then of course, identifying um, a bad guy.